Hello, beautiful loves. Happy Wednesday. It is such a pleasure and a privilege to be jumping on live with here with you guys tonight. I'm so excited that you're here and I'm so excited to just have a chat and share tonight's topic with you. So when you jump on, make sure you write replay in the comments if you're joining us for the replay or leave me an emoji and let me know how you're feeling. Give me one to three one to three is good. One to three emojis to let me know how you're feeling tonight and how you want to be feeling by the end of this call. Tonight is a super, super special topic. I can't see who's jumping on. Hey, Lachlan. Tonight is a super special topic that I'm super excited to chat to you guys about. Tonight, we are going to be talking about the importance of taking yourselves out on a date and why tonight was the best night ever and why I called this video tonight was amazing is because tonight was the first time in a really long time you guys that I've actually taken myself out for a date and if that sounds weird to you I totally just encourage you right now to tune in and to really listen in and to really just open your mind to the possibility of doing things in a different way because what I found is over the last probably two or three years is that dating yourself and giving yourself full permission to go out on dates with yourself and really spoil yourself and take care of yourself and really romance yourself in the most beautiful way is an amazing, incredible, beautiful, perfect tool for self-love. So I want to touch on three points tonight. We're going to talk about why it's so important. Hi, Sophia. Hi, beautiful woman. We are going to speak about why it's so important to treat your no to spoil yourself and not treat yourself. Why, if money is an issue for you, it means you need to do this even more. And I'm going to be even more firm about that. And three, how self love filters into every other aspect of your life. So if you haven't already, give me a couple of emojis below as to how you're feeling right now. And. I'm super excited to dive right in. So tonight I took myself out on a date and I've been dating a little bit recently, just a few different um, people that aren't myself here and there. And what it's really driven home for me and what's become really like blatantly obvious and apparent is how important it is to date yourself first and how important it is to set the standard for how others treat you by how you treat yourself. So tonight, what my date looks like, just so you get an idea of what this could be, um, was literally taking myself out for dinner. I got a glass of wine, I got some amazing halloumi chips, and I just sat there and I savoured every single piece and every single bite. I did my hair for the date, I wore my absolute favourite outfit, and I took myself to one of my absolute favourite restaurants to really just soak up the goodness and soak up the juiciness. And I think what a lot of us miss, and <laughs> especially those of us who are entrepreneurial, who do run our own businesses, we can often be our own biggest slave drivers. And we can often be the people who treat ourselves the harshest. Hey, you guys. Hi, Kylie. Hey, Claire. Hey, Brendan. So good to see you guys jumping on. So what happens with a lot of us, especially in the online business space, is that we're often our own toughest bosses. We're often our own harshest critics, obviously, but we're also often our own biggest slave drivers. And I know I'm like number one, so guilty of this. I turn myself into a workhorse. I kind of metaphorically stand over myself and push myself to breaking point until I quite literally like physically, emotionally, mentally, spiritually can't go anymore. And then I have a bit of a nervous meltdown wreck and that that's when I'll prioritize self-care when I've like hit rock bottom. And for me, the last couple of months has been about really stripping it all back and saying, okay, what if it didn't have to get to that point? What if I could preempt the fall? What if I could use self-love and self-care as a preventative measure rather than something I do when I hit the bottom of the cycle and then try and claw my way back up again? Because that's what happens, right? We just go around and around and around and around in this insane, crazy cycle. So tonight that looks like dressing up in my favorite outfit, 
taking myself to one of my favorite places to eat, buying myself a glass of my favorite wine and some incredible Lumi <laughs> chips. They were so good. Um, and sitting there and really savoring every moment. And I am a firm believer that you're never bored. Only boring people are bored. And that if you really, truly get to know yourself, you will absolutely love what you find. And you'll also find that you are your own best company. And when you're in the company of yourself, when you're in the presence of yourself, it's a really, really beautiful, nourishing, enriching feeling rather than being something that's like boring or rather than feeling like you need someone else around you to keep it exciting or make it fun or make it interesting. So tonight for me, it was literally about sitting there and thinking, taking a massive load off, taking a few really big, beautiful deep breaths as I was sitting there by myself, putting my phone on flight on airplane mode and really just thinking about all of the fun, beautiful things that I have to look forward to. I use the template for a normal date or whatever you call quote unquote normal date as the template for a date with myself. So if I'd usually talk about work with a person that I was going on a date with then I'd speak about or I'd think to myself and have like a conversation with myself about what I was loving about work at the moment. I just like I would on a date, I would put my best foot forward and I would speak about the things that I was loving. I would present my best self and I would bring my best self to the table. So it would be a beautiful experience for the other person. I would come with open arms. I would come with like an open attitude and I'd come with a sense of like excitement and spontaneity and fun and just this feeling of like, who knows what could happen. And I feel like if we're looking, it's when we can cultivate that within ourselves, truly when we can cultivate that within ourselves that it's really simple and really easy for the universe to show up and give that to us in other people by presenting us with other people. So the second thing that I wanted to talk about is if this, if money is the reason why you haven't been taking yourself out for dates lately and really, and the difference between treating yourself and spoiling yourself, I'll just touch up on that really, really quickly because I feel like treating yourself is kind of like that that hashtag slogan that's been going around for the last couple of months or probably years, I've just totally missed the boat, but it's kind of what people use to celebrate or to campaign for really, a lot of the time, really unhealthy choices. So if I have a donut, oh, treat yourself. If I wanna drink six beers after work, oh, treat yourself. If I wanna buy a $300 dress that I quote unquote, can't afford, treat yourself. Like it's sort of something that it's become, I don't know what the intention was when it was created, but it's become this like justification for doing things that you know aren't in your best interest. or you know, aren't in your own highest good. And I think the difference between, I was what I was thinking about the other day is the difference between treating yourself, which is kind of like that junk food, quick fix, normal, mask the pain, avoid, sugar high versus spoil yourself, which is like indulge, which is like gourmet, which is like cultivate pleasure, which is like that beautiful, like take time, invest time and energy and money in yourself and do it consciously, do it from a conscious place rather than, and do it preemptively, so rather than waiting for shit to hit the fan and feeling like you all of a sudden need to pleasure binge, like starving yourself for so long of the good things and the beautiful juicy things in life and feeling like you need to pleasure binge, preemptively, actively choosing, consciously choosing time for yourself and setting aside that beautiful time and then consciously investing your time and energy in yourself and thoughtfully, like actually thinking about what do I love to do? What would make me so happy tonight? All I thought about tonight when I was sitting there is what could make this night, what would make this night even better? <clears throat> what would make me even happier right now? What would make this feel even more juicy and blissful and joyful? And I found that, and I had, you know, some amazing ideas tonight, just like for little blog posts and things that I want to write purely because I was in that beautiful energy and vibration. And that's what I was saying before. If you feel like you're not someone that can afford to do this right now, even more reason why you should be doing it. There are so many reasons why it didn't make sense for me to do this tonight. There are so many, you know, other things I could have spent money on. There are so many other things that um, could have been like 
more sensible choices or like a different priority for me. Hey Rob, hey Emma, hey Brandon, oh, I love you guys. Um, there were so many reasons why this wasn't a quote unquote sensible choice for me, but that's why that to me is even more reason to go and do it. It's even more reason to invest preemptively in yourself. It's even more reason to really go out and you know make an effort for yourself, make an effort to put together or bring together all of the things that you really truly love and treat yourself to this big beautiful, hey keys, hey beautiful woman, um, to treat yourself to this big beautiful experience. So for those of you just jumping on now, I took myself out for a dinner date tonight and it was the most beautiful thing ever, but I'm just about to finish up. But if you guys are just jumping on now, let me know. I would love to know in the comments. One, do you take yourselves out for dinner dates? Do you date yourself? Have you made an effort to date yourself and take yourself out to dinner? Um, or does that idea freak you out? And if so, that's totally perfect and fine. Just let me know why and we can chat about it. And two, what is your ultimate date night for yourself? <clears throat> Excuse me. What's your ultimate date night for yourself? What's your favorite, absolute favorite thing to do by yourself? What do you love, absolutely love spoiling yourself with? And um, yeah, we'll have a bit of a chat about it in the comments. I am going to leave the link to my website below. If you've loved watching this video and you love hanging out, then come over and leave your name and email in the opt-in box and receive a copy of my ebook. And for those of you just jumping on now, my latest offer, 20 questions to awaken clarity and purpose is on my website now, Rob, <laughs> easy straight diner, so good. Um, my latest ebook, 20 questions to awaken clarity and purpose is over on my website now. Go and download it and check it out if you haven't already. It's amazing for really just stripping it all back, getting to the core of what you absolutely love and helping you get clarity around your next steps. I'm super excited to share it with the world. All right, my chickens, thank you so much for being here with me and jumping on live with me tonight. I love you. I love you. I love you endlessly. And um, yeah, I'm so excited to chat to you soon. I'm off to end my own date night with some self-pleasure, some self-touch, and excuse me, probably a nice hot cup of tea. <laughs> You know it's my kind of date night when I'm home by 7 o'clock. This is amazing. So good. So good. All right, my guy. Uh, I love you guys so much. And, um, yeah, I'll talk to you really soon. Love you.